Hey, Kyle here. Uh, I know I haven't had a video up in like two weeks. Uh, neither battle reports because last week uh, we we played a few games, but it was so much and kind of a clusterfuck. There's a lot going on upstairs. Uh, I couldn't really get a recording. And then the next Saturday, which was the previous Saturday to this video, uh, no game happened. But I do have a little project um, for my friend Daryl. Uh, if you watch my if you watch my battle reports and follow my videos, you'll know who I'm talking about. Uh, he he sort of gave me a little commission. He offered to to commission something to me, but I basically told him, "Don't worry about it. I'll I'll do it for him, and I'll and I'll do it to where it would be the highest quality model that I can put out." And uh, he well, he got a bane blade yesterday or on Saturday um, he had a bane blade before but he he messed it all up he kinda did, he didn't take his time and he got everything all reversed and and all that so he has he got a second bane blade and he asked me to put it together he offered to pay me to do it but I just told him no uh, I'll just put it together paint it and give it back to you yeah. And sort of like a Christmas present. You know, paint it all up, and assemble it, paint it up, give it back, and there you go. And I'm sort of still working on it. Uh, when I got home at about 7, I started putting it together and I didn't finish until about 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I sort of took a little, bre little breaks in, in between because it's a lot of pieces. And... It's just a lot of pieces. Uh, I still have to put on some of the odds and ends. Like I put the smoke launchers on. Uh, I have to put some of the hooks on it that go on the very back. I have like the exhaust pipes in. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Here it is. This is a uh, just a standard Bane blade. Um, with heavy bolter side sponsons. Heavy bolter in the front. Demolisher cannon. And two last cannons on the sponsons. I mounted them further forward uh, for game reasons, so that you get a few more inches. But even you know, even if they're behind you, you can still get them. But it's less likely that they're going to be behind you than in front of you. So I kind of figured, well, let's just put them on the front. Makes perfect sense. Uh, I was going to put them in the center, but you know. I thought just put them in the very front, you know. It'll it'll give it'll give them about an inch and a half more range, as you measure from the weapon. But I'm I am gonna put some uh, barrels on the sides, just to sort of bulk out the back a little bit, because it looks kind of wonky like this. It just looks a little, a little too front heavy for me. So, um, everything is modular. You can take the top off, if you can take this little sponson here off, if you can take these off. I actually glued the uh, clips in. Because I can't really see much purpose to actually have them unglued. And it makes it easier so you don't lose them, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, all of the hatches, this hatch here comes off, in case you want to put like a heavy stubber or something on it. And this guy here which I sort of kitbashed or converted come on focus focus there we go it's like a, the tank commander or the guy manning the tank uh... Daryl included a few more sprues in the box today so I can mess with some some stuff and I saw this banner I'm like huh this will be perfect on the tank and well maybe it's not focusing there we go so I just took this arm, put it on, and I gave him the head to where he's like, Go over there! And put the arm where he's pointing and put a shoulder pad on so it sort of evens out the look of the model. So, it looks really good. And I made it so it comes off in case you want to switch some of the weapons out. Uh, I put the uh, antenna piece on the back, like the... Uh, communications array, if that's what it's called. 
And also, the main reason why I have these taken off is so that you can easily unclip this top sponson off. Basically, the way Daryl said, the variant that's on the box, that's on the front of the box. It does have another variant, but he wanted the basic band blade. Also, that moves. Everything moves. Everything is perfect. Perfectly set, perfectly positioned, um, and ready to go. This could be used for any game right now. Uh, all I really have to do is I have to add the piece on this little port there. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the demolisher cannon is also unglued, although I don't, I don't see a purpose. I could see a purpose of putting it, well, like bringing that up like that, if you want to make it a, like a higher shot. But, uh, all I really. That is great. Everything's falling off whenever I do that. Put the sacks on it. Uh, I gotta put a ladder on the side. I, ha I have to put the ladder on the side. Put the hooks on the back. You know, I wanna, I'm basically putting everything that I can on this thing. And the little guy fell off the top. So, I'm gonna actually be painting this. Uh, he. He also included a new bottle, a new uh, can of, of primer, just for this model because the primer that I have won't won't cut it because it's nearly gone. But uh, this thing up here took like an hour. This just piece right here, except for the sponson pieces, took like an hour and a half for me to do because it was the first time putting this thing together. So in reality, right now, the uh, this model stands. You know, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. It took like eight hours just to get this far. This little guy is uh, the model, is a little model it comes with. Uh, just I just actually modeled him up with the bolt pistol and a power sword. And sort of he's the tank commander, and uh, I'm he's basically set to where he you can put him in a normal game as like a like a sergeant or something or a leader a lead a lead model in a unit you know that kind of thing. Which I, I like this little guy. He's pretty cool. Especially the way he's modeled. Because he's modeled like he's standing calmly observing the battlefield while he's striking a pose and intimidating the enemies. That kind of thing. So I'm gonna be having an, I'm gonna have an up definitely have an update on this uh, in the next week because it's gonna take a while to paint this because I have to I'm gonna hand paint the entire thing. Uh, so yeah, um, this is Kyle X Pi six six five with this Imperial Guard Bane blade. Uh, bye.